Okay, welcome back here. Uh, today, I figured I'd get out here and do a little bit more work on my box. Uh, today, I was supposed to have this done several days ago, what I had planned on, but with work slowing me down and uh, having to work on the, some of my weekend. But I'm out here today, I got a day off, and uh, so what I'm going to do here, uh, I've already got my pieces cut out. I actually need to cut one more piece out. This is going to be for my blower motor box. Uh, I've already got my, I'm just using the same blower motor that I bought last year. I went out and bought one here several days ago that had the wires coming off the back of the motor. But uh, some motors you buy now don't come with this squirrel cage, so I had to buy a squirrel cage. And then, uh, but thank God the squirrel cage didn't fit the motor because I took it back and I finally found the numbers off uh, the motor I used last year, which is this one right here. And they pulled it off the shelf and lo and behold, it's still got the squirrel cage on it. So uh, I put a little extra money back in my pocket, saved me some money by returning my old stuff. So uh, there's a few more pieces for my box, but uh, I want to get out here and see if I can't get my box my blower box put together today uh, this piece right here I got what I'm going to do last year on my other box this is the top part uh, what I've done is I took a piece of flashing and I bent it to make an overhang where this vent right here uh, last year I it didn't have nothing over top here to protect it from getting wet and what happened is uh, when I slid the uh, uh, flex duct on here it was of course I didn't have it sealed off good and water wound up getting into my duct and ruining it so I just took a piece of flashing and just made it overhang just bent it around and, and tacked it to the top of the box so this year I was going to take a piece of wood and I'm basically going to do the same thing just screw it and make it leave it overhang so the rain won't be hitting my duct and ruining it. So that's what this piece here is for. Uh, also, the getting getting paint work done has been really slowing me down because it's been so humid here and his paint's taking forever to dry. Uh, I went out and uh, I haven't even got my. I was supposed to done have my. I'm going to go ahead and screw this top back down the plexiglass. I'm going to screw it back down. But what I'm going to do first is uh, the trim work also has been slowing me up because I just can't figure out what I'm going to do so I've just decided to go and buy uh, it's just window and door casing trim whatever you want to call it uh, just like a standard trim and I'm just going to go and trim the the whole perimeter on top of course this stuff here doesn't bend that easy to put up here so I'm still gonna have to do something different up here everything I try I keep running into problems and uh, I figured that arch no more than what it's arched that this piece of trim would bend over pretty easy but it won't because it just snaps in half when you get it almost bent all the way over so uh, I'm definitely going to do something different there I might just take a I don't know, a piece of one by two maybe and just do the best I can and bend it over the top of the two archways but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trim on here and then I'm going to wind up running the screw through my trim and down through the plexi into the wood to help hold that plexiglass down because I never built one of these with the arch before and, I, and I'm kind of half afraid by not screwing it down and the way I've got this thing made that maybe eventually over time the heat and cold will maybe start pulling that apart so I'm just going to take some precautions and just go ahead and screw this one back down like I did last year's uh, but this trim work I've hopefully I've got all my trim work painted all the pieces I need there to trim the, uh, the sides and the top but uh, 
that's where I'm at so far and uh, as soon as my trim and everything gets dry of course I still gotta paint the other side of this one I haven't got it painted yet like I said the the weather here is it's pretty humid it's, it's not as bad today as it has been uh, I've done painted this twice today and this one's almost dry but uh, It's just getting waiting for the paint to dry before I can go any further doing anything. So that's where I'm at today, and hopefully I'll get my blower motor box put together. And uh, I was gonna make a a little bit bigger box where I could offset the motor back inside the box. So hopefully, because last year the where the hole is, where the the squirrel cage actually pulls air into the box it was kind of leaking a little bit of air around the outside so I might try and uh, or I was going to make a, a deeper box to see if that wouldn't help but I think the problem would be the uh, I got a four inch hole in the top and that squirrel cage is probably about a six inch hole so I say the exhaust needs to be bigger or but then again I run into a problem because my duct work on my box is still four inch so it's still run into the same problem so but it's not leaking too bad so I'm just gonna build the same size box as I had last year and uh, hopefully I'll get out here today get that put together and uh, what I'm thinking about doing when I was running my I'm, I'm gonna test it first run both my blower motors off through one snap disc and through one charger which I'm hoping it should work for no more, no more than what it is uh, but I'm just going to test it and see how it goes and uh, I'll make another video on it later thanks for watching